In this video, you will learn how to use Canva's Magic Write step by step. And if you want to use Magic Write to write your ebook, then this is the video for you. The first thing we're going to do is create a design. The custom size will be a 5.25 by 8, and that's in inches. For the purpose of this example, we're going to go ahead and write a book. This first page will be your title page. We're going to go ahead and click on text. And let's say this book is called Fighting Anxiety. And now we're going to have a subtitle. And the subtitle is How to Overcome Anxiety Through Journaling. So that's going to be our subtitle. And then we're going to use magic write in just a moment, but I'm giving you an example how you can begin writing your book. Then you're going to write at the bottom your author name. Then we're going to go ahead and add a page. When we add a page, this is going to be your copyright page. So let's just put copyright for now. You're going to have your copyright information. We're going to go ahead and add another page, and this is going to be your table of contents. Let's say we're going to add another page and this is going to be your introduction. And now is where we're going to go ahead and use magic, right? I'm going to go ahead and put introduction here. So we're going to start writing. And the first thing we're going to write is the following. So you can start your introduction with a question. Do you experience anxiety? Is it part of your day-to-day -day experience okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on magic right quick break i want to introduce you to my daughter nina Hi. and she has a dream and her dream has always been to have a solo piece and this dance season number four 2024 2025 she has the opportunity she's been given the opportunity to be part of three dance pieces and a solo but we need your help and your support to make her dream happen go ahead and click on the link down below so that you can go ahead and support her in her dream so that she can have her solo and be part of those three dance pieces so thank you so much and and thank you very much uh, for, for click the down below right now and let's get on to the video it's going to appear here we're going to click on it. When we click on it, it's going to it's going to give us some options. The option that we're going to click on is continue writing. We're going to click on it. And then it already wrote something for us and it says, "If so, know that you are not alone. Many people face anxiety in various forms, and it's important to acknowledge and address it in healthy ways. There are numerous numerous <laughs> There are numerous strategies to help manage anxiety, such as practicing mindfulness, engaging in regular exercise, and so on and so forth. It's a good introduction. However, when you're using AI, you want to go ahead and edit this and make it your own. You don't want to leave this word for word, especially when it's dealing with something like anxiety. Be considerate of your reader. Now, let's go ahead and see another way we can use Magic Write. In this page, we're going to go ahead and click on add a little bit of body text. We're going to go ahead and use magic, right? But this time we're going to do something different. Let's say I wrote a paragraph. Let's say that we want to make this paragraph shorter. We can do that. All we do is click on magic, right? And then you see where it says shorten. You can do a couple things. You can create a summary. You can click on shorten and it will shorten the text for you, or it can rewrite it for you and it can make the text more fun. We're going to go ahead and use this feature so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's say I click on shorten. Let's see what happens. And now there you have it. It shortened the text. Now it says at times anxiety causes breathing difficulties, restlessness, insomnia, distraction, and difficulty focusing. As you can see, it definitely it made everything concise, right? I'm going to go ahead and undo this 
because now I'm going to click on Magic Write and we're going to click on Rewrite. And now it rewrote the text. It did not make it a condensed version like it did when I, when I clicked on Shorten. It just rewrote what I had written. There are moments when overwhelming anxiety makes it hard for me to breathe. Sometimes I struggle to stay still and anxiety disrupts my ability to sleep. It rewrote the text and it actually sounds a lot better than what I had. This is perfect for you if you're feeling like you're not good at writing. Well, with rewrite, it will actually make the text sound better. So now let me go ahead and click on magic write again. And now this time I'm going to click on where it says more fun. And let's see what happens. There are times when my nerves throw a wild party, leaving me gasping for air. Staying calm feel like, feels like a mission, impossible, with anxiety crashing my sleepover plans. It's like having a hyper squirrel in my brain, stealing my focus on here, on here and now. So you see, it completely transformed the content that I had written into something that's more light. So now, when I click on Magic Write again, and I'm going to click on more formal. Let's see what happens. Let's see what it says. There are instances when my nerves seem to host a turbulent gathering, causing me to struggle for composure. I don't think I would have written that myself, by the way, guys. Um, maintaining a sense of tranquility appears daunting as anxiety disrupts my peace of mind. I mean, this sounds amazing if you ask me. So if you are not a writer, you need magic, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and click on magic, right? Again. And then this time around, we're going to click on the, the option that says sprinkle fairy dust. And let's see what happens now. In the symphony of my soul, there are moments when unruly guests of nervous energy gather, stirring a tempest within me. The quest for serenity feels like a distant shore as anxieties, turbulent waves crash against the shores of my peace. It resembles a jittery squirrel darting through the corridors of my thoughts, stealing focus from the stillness of the now. Guys, I mean, this is amazing if you ask me. So yes, I'm not, I'm not going to get tired of emphasizing this. If you don't feel like you can write a book, guys, you need to have Canva. You need Magic Write. Now, when I click on Magic Write again, and I, and I click on Change Voice, okay? It says right here, add a new voice. And then here it says, paste in some sample text for Magic Write to learn the style of writing form. So here what you can do, if you don't like the sound, the voice of the content that this AI is producing for you, go ahead and go online and look around and see what types of styles of writing and, and the voice that you want to convey in your book, in your content, and go ahead and paste it here. And the cool thing is that once you put something here, like let's say whatever it could be, as you can see, the purple button is now highlighted. Why? Because it's going to give you a description of your voice. So it's going to analyze the text, which is extremely cool. When I click on magic right again, and I go down to where it says custom prompt, you can go ahead and tell the AI exactly what you want. You could turn this text into a bulleted list. And then last but not least, I left this for last. Create a summary. You can just go ahead and click create summary, which is pretty cool. And as you can see here, it's going to provide you with the information with bullet points. And this is very helpful, especially when you're trying to create the content for the back of your book. You're trying to create that summary and summarize what your book is about. Or maybe it can give you ideas for your introduction for your book. So as you can see, this, these are just some ways that you can use Magic Write that are very helpful, especially if you're looking to write a book. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next video.